Welcome to the Age of Humans. Human footprint is very much a visual journey. I think the best way to describe is stunning. It's a show about the things that humans do to the planet and have done to the planet. And in investigating our footprint on the planet, we also learn about ourselves. Oh my God, that's incredible. We went to 44 different cities, interviewed well over 100 people, slept in 80 different Airbnbs. I slept on the floor, I shared a bed with Neil, shared a bed with Rick, you know, slept in tents. It was a massive undertaking that required very complicated logistics, a tremendous amount of travel, finding the best possible characters, the coolest events, the best locations, and making it as beautiful as possible. We think a lot about the visuals, about how to make this beautiful, how to make it look distinctive. And I think that's one of the things people are going to really dig about it. When we were thinking about kind of the, the overall feel of the series, I knew that I wanted to kind of emphasize the various characters in a way that, that stood out and felt a little, a little different than a lot of documentary programming. There's a lot of fiction series that have, have leveraged vintage glass to create, you know, like an interesting look. Canon has a bunch of different prime lenses. Um, they've got the regular c lenses, um, which amazing prime lenses, super, super sharp. I think one of the things about those c lenses is that they're almost like too sharp. Like it's like everything's perfect. So they came out with this line of lenses called the, the Canon Sumi Ray lenses. Sumi Ray in Japanese means to bloom, which describes the effect that happens when you open up these lenses to a really wide aperture. T1.4, T1.2, T2, you get a lot of chromatic aberrations in the micro details of the lenses, which create this sort of like misty look that surround the details. It feels kind of like that cinematic Hollywood feel that you might expect from like the 70s and, and 80s. It just looks incredible. We were lucky enough to have a full set of their Sumi Ray Prime lenses. These are beautiful, large aperture prime lenses that cover a full 35 millimeter frame. They're bright, they have a distinctive, very organic look. They're not clinical, they're not overly sharp, but they're still really crisp. Yeah, they just have a, a, really, a really magical look. A lot of um, natural history documentaries kind of lean into the hype and real. Everything is like perfectly crisp, perfect contrast, like detailed. And I wanted to shoot some sequences that were, I don't know, more, more evocative or more kind of dreamlike. I think this series has these sequences that are, are, are different from a lot of science or natural history films in that we kind of leaned into the imperfection. You know, shooting wide open, letting highlights just kind of bloom. The highlights look incredible in these lenses. You get a really, really amazing flare that comes through with the lenses. We use them all over the series, but particularly with these, these video portraits that we're shooting of all of our characters to make every character who appears in the series kind of the star of their own little Hollywood movie embedded in our series. Having those lenses as part of our visual vocabulary, giving those, those little cameo scenes their own distinct look um, was such an asset to the series. Part, part of what I think really makes it jump off the screen. It gives the series like a cinematic feel in certain places that like you, you just, you cannot replicate. Anytime we had a scene where we could, we could bust out these sumerays was just like so fun. It's fun to watch. I hope that comes across when people watch it. And I hope audiences leave the show saying, I need another season. So, man, Canon, very good work with those lenses. We will be using them in the future. I love them. I'm in love with them.